She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a full day of eating. But before we begin, I want to show you guys these really cute gel nail polishes. Uh, they're called Nail Addicts and honestly guys, I am obsessed and I highly, highly recommend them. They are super pigmented and my you only really need like one or two coats because they are super pigmented and here my sister she's doing my nails i don't know why lately i've been so obsessed with um doing my nails and having different designs i used to not be like this but i don't know what got into me and she's practicing and she's been getting so good um i chose like a easter theme kind of nail so she's using pastel colors and like i said super pigmented um, by the time I'm, you're watching this video, I've had the nails for like two weeks and they have lasted a long time because obviously they are gel, they do last longer, but they just, they're just so cute and so bright and I am obsessed with them. So I'm going to leave my discount code in the description below. You get 50% off with the discount code uh, Susana R and it can be applied to a minimum of two gels. So if you're into nails or if you want to start doing your nails to feel cute, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. You can also purchase the mini LED lamp, which is really cool because you can carry it to your car. You can do your nails while you're going somewhere, obviously not if you're driving, and it's super quick and easy to dry. So definitely check the link in the description below and save 50%. Okay, so I have my chicken here that I cooked last night and I always like to make extra because I just like to come home and just eat. So I have my chicken there. Um, I like to eat, uh, buy these salads. Here's another one that I just bought. This is like a sweet one and then this is avocado bacon ranch. I usually, for this one, I don't really like bacon so I don't put bacon and um, I don't put the whole dressing for either for this one either because that's what contains the most calories so i try to limit that i add some avocado instead sometimes i make my own uh, dressing but today i'm just gonna light and some avocado also i was snacking on these i forgot to show you guys i was snacking on these these are so good the sweet chili ones and the, uh, this package is only 110 calories nine fat because obviously it's pistachios and they are high in fat and five carbs and four protein so that was a little snack that i had now I'm gonna have a meal. So let me put this together and I'll be right back. All right guys, here it is. I put everything in a big bowl just in case um, Josh wants them when he's home. So I'm just gonna mix everything. It has some corn, some cheese. And I did a little bit of the dressing like I was telling you guys. I'm gonna warm up some, some chicken. 
so here is the final product literally made in less than 10 minutes and it's so good i'm so excited to eat and i added some avocado and i'm gonna enjoy this and i'm gonna have one of these um well i usually don't finish a whole bottle at once but these are flavor sparkling water i get them out at walmart and these are only five calories per bottle so not bad i've been craving papaya for the longest so we bought one yesterday i'm gonna have a little bit of vanilla yogurt and mix cottage cheese to increase the protein and probably some strawberries and almonds i'm so excited for this snack because i've been wanting it forever so let's go ahead and start preparing it okay so first step let's cut this up it smells so good fun fact guys growing up i hated papaya and for some reason i've been craving it ever since i lost weight i've been craving all sorts of fruits and veggies but I used to hate papaya, like the smell, everything. It's weird how your taste buds can change. And I don't know if I'm doing it right, guys. I really don't know how to cut papayas, but whatever. I'm just doing what I think is right. If you guys know any other way, let me know in the comments. All right, you guys, so here is my little snack. As you guys saw, I make some Greek yogurt, vanilla flavor, and some 2% cottage cheese, my papaya, which is really good for you, and strawberries, and some almonds. I am going to enjoy this, and I'm heading out. Okay, so I'm going to be making a caldo de papa. You can call it caldo de queso, caldo de papa. Um, so it's a very easy recipe, and I want to show you guys how I make it. Um, these are your ingredients. You're going to need some tomatoes. Everything's already washed. Well, not the onion obviously but um i'm gonna use three small tomatoes one serrano i'm not sure if i'm gonna use another one depends on how spicy it is maybe two-thirds of the onion three papas i'm gonna obviously make it high protein to make it a little bit more filling and i'm gonna add some chicken breast i'm gonna boil it the chicken in the separate pan here's what we're gonna make our caldo it's a pretty big cazuela all right guys so my chicken's already in there i put some onion and some sea salt and we're just gonna let that boil Meanwhile, we're gonna start by um, cutting first the tomatoes and onions in little small squares. These can wait. So let's go ahead and begin. All right guys, so I already have my tomatoes and onions cut up, but you just kind of want them like that. They're small size. And we're gonna spray our cazuela with um, olive oil spray. I don't have regular oil, so that's why I'm using this. And I feel like you can control how much oil you put with the spray. And then we're gonna add all of this into the cazuela. Pretty hot. Mm, that already smells so good. We're just gonna mix well. And you just wanna let it cook maybe like a uh, five to eight minutes. Oh my God, it smells so good, guys. So meanwhile, we're letting that um, kind of cook a little bit. We're going to peel our potatoes that I already washed. And we're going to cut them in the same size. Also our chile. Alright, after a couple of minutes, I'm going to add some water. Alright, you guys. So my potatoes are peeled. I already make a made a mess here. Um, so I'm just going to cut them like I said. And... This is looking pretty good. I haven't added any salt or seasoning yet. I'm gonna add the potatoes first and then I'll add everything else. All right guys, so I have my potatoes ready and I did forget to cut the serrano. So I did cut it just like in strips. I think I'm gonna add another one. It does smell pretty spicy, but that's fine because it's, it's a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna do another one. So we're gonna add the serrano first. And then we're gonna add the potatoes. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because this plate sucks. So the potatoes do cook pretty fast, so they're only going to be here like 10 minutes before we add the cheese. Which I forgot to show you guys, that's one of the ingredients, the cheese. Very important. Okay, so now that I remember, I have it seasoned it, so I'm going to put in one of these nor... I don't know what they're called, bouillon? I never knew how to pronounce it, but I know that it's not the great greatest ingredient, but it's just a one for a little bit of flavor, and then if it needs more, I'll just add some sea salt. All right, guys, so this is the type of queso fresco I'm gonna be using. Um, it's just um, brand Aldi. I'm pretty sure you can use any. I'm gonna open it and cut it in the same 
um, size pieces that I cut everything else. So I am waiting for my potatoes to be a little bit softer before I add the cheese. Um, and I did add a little bit of this caldo from the chicken that I boiled. Um, since it's already ready, I added here, some here in. Oh my god, guys, it tastes so bomb. I did add a little bit more salt because it did need a little bit more salt, but it's so good. I did, um, I don't know if I showed, but I put two of the serrano peppers like this. And it's like the perfect spiciness. Like it's not even too hot. It's not, like it's just perfect. I love this already. And it doesn't have, it doesn't even have the cheese yet. So maybe a couple more minutes to the potatoes are a little softer and then we'll add the cheese and it'll be done. All right, so I almost forgot to record, but I'm already adding all the cheese. I was thinking of adding two, but I think that's enough, um, hopefully. But it looks so bomb, guys. I, I know caldo de papa or de queso, whatever you want to call it. I know a lot of people make it different. But this is just how I make it. Actually, it's my first time ever making it, to be honest. And I just, I don't know, I just kind of figured out how, like, it, it was kind of a common sense. And I cannot wait to eat. I'm going to try and get Josh's reaction when he tries it and hopefully he likes it. The very last step is to shred this chicken and add it to the caldo. But I want to show you guys again because I'm obsessed. I'm going to cover it actually so it doesn't get cold. Uh, meanwhile, I finish with my chicken. So bomb, guys. Definitely recommend it. I did forget to mention the queso fresco was already pretty salty. So make sure you don't add too much salt when you're making the caldo. Ooh. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite meals. So bomb. Make sure you get a cheese. Wait, you have to get a cheese. Did you add un poquito de todo? Es queso? Yeah, that's cheese. And then papa. It's my first time making it, so if you don't like it, say the truth. Mm. Mm. Sorry, ma, te amo. What? Yeah, sorry, ma, te amo. You want to make caldo? Mm. It's good, huh? Wait, yeah, is this me serving? There's a lot more there. Josh and Stadium? No. Jeez.